Hey, Shalom, Shalom, Shalom. First and foremost, I'd like to give all praises to the Most High Yahweh, Bahashem Yahweh Shai, Bahashem Bruka Kodash. My double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutation to the hopeful elect spread around the four corners of the earth, risking their lives in these last days to push this truth. Shalom also to the few aquats who are sincerely seeking this truth. That's the brother Yara Yaya Shar'ala from the GMS Italia camp. And I'm here with a quick one regarding um, the topic of um, Cornelius being a, a Jew from a different nation outside Israel. You know, this is the topic that's been going on. So anyway, before I start this lesson, I'd like to share the book of Jude. Jude 1, 4. Because we all really need to be aware of these teachers, okay, these men that are supposed to be leaders in Israel, you know, that are coming out and spreading out you know, all different kinds of madness, you know, crazy doctrines, okay, that are different from such that we've learned from our elders and apostles, okay, through the Holy, through the Holy Spirit, the Rukah Kodash, okay, we need to really be aware of these men because they crept in right from time. So this is the book of Jude 1, 4. For there are certain men crept in on our ways who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men turning the grace of, of Yahweh into lasciviousness and denying the only power Yahweh and our Lord Yahweh Shai, the anointed Hamashiach, you know. So these men, they crept in in all those times of, um, what do you call it? of of when the apostles were all learning from you know the the 31st streets and you know the schools they were going into you know where they were actually chased out of the school these men they actually crept in and their and their and their, and their main objective is that of you know deceiving the, the 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 house of israel being a stumbling block to many you know and those whom the most high Yahweh Shem Shai has ordained from the beginning that they wouldn't fall out, would never fall out, no matter how many craziness they come up with. So there are different videos on the YouTube that many elders, the apostles have done regarding Cornelius being um a Israelite, okay? And they've gone deep into history to show you how you know Israel was spread around four corners of the earth you know due to slavery and due to different different things you know migration you know so now i want to pick from the book of um i want to pick from the book of act chapter two i'm going to read from verse six it quotes no chapter um, verse five this is the book of acts chapter two verse five that quotes and they were dwelling at jerusalem jews devout men out of every nation under heaven out of every nation under heaven this is to let you know that israelites were spread into different nations under heaven okay israelites were present in, in uh, amongst the greek israelites were present amongst um, the romans you know so now if you now go down to the book of acts chapter 8 which is the topic I really want to touch on. Eight and I think towards 26. Yes, this is the book of Acts, chapter 8, verse 26, which quotes, And the angel of the Lord, Yehovah Hashem Yahushai, spake unto Philip, saying, Arise, and go towards the south, unto the way that goeth down from Jerusalem unto Gaza, which is desert and he arose and went and behold a man of ethiopia and eunuch of great authority under candace queen of the ethiopians who had the charge of all her treasure and had come to jerusalem for to worship the question is this man of ethiopia was he a jew um was he a israelite excuse me was he a israelite or was he of another nation seeing that the answer is still here you know as we read before you had all oh, israelites you know 
spread into different corners of of all the nations you know under heaven so this ethiopian the answer is right, is right here right in, in the same chapter in the same verse you know it tells you that he came to jerusalem to worship who are those who go to jerusalem to worship probably during the passover and different um different holy days you know these are the israelites it was a commandment given right from the beginning that you know those who are not israelites cannot step into the into the temple man and this was a law so only the israelites knew that they were to go back home during the time of the passover and other feasts so as you can see is a israelite another point to show you is verse 28 was returning and sitting in his chariot read isaiah the prophet he was reading about isaiah the prophet which means he actually knows about the laws he knows about the prophet but things were not really clear to him so the most like yahweh shimmy Shai had to send philip to enlighten him more to bring him back to the fold so man as you can see here those who have the highs let them see it and those who don't have the highs you know it means the most high have actually decided to blind you and kept this truth from, away from you so as we can read here this ethiopian man was not really an ethiopian he walked under the ethiopians okay he was walking he had a big position he was working for the queen of candace of the ethiopians you know he had charge over all our treasures you know just like um cornelius he was a chief of the band of the italian band you know but he was he was he was an israelite now let's take cornelius for example they said it was um let's see italian now this is the book of act 10 1 there was a certain man in caesarea called cornelius a centurion of the band called the italian band he was a centurion okay now let's go into another history secular history to show you that israelites were present in all parts of the world and they had positions just like even higher ranks than you know cornelius had so this is the story of tiberius julius alexander okay you see first century ad roman governor and general it was a governor and general a roman governor and general so let's read a little bit tiberius julius alexander was an equestrian governor and general in the roman empire born into a wealthy jewish family jewish family so his parents were jews okay his parents were israelites of alexandria but abandoning or neglecting the jewish religion just like most do okay just like many people doing even in this current um kingdom that we're living run by the um, esau so-called white man you know we have many of our people who are working in high positions they neglect that they are hebrew israelites they prefer to be called americans they prefer to be called british they prefer to be called different positions just like for example if you look at the olympics you know you have all different kinds of africans you know so-called hebrew israelites you know people from nigeria people from ghana you know they they, they, they participate in the sprint race you know in all different kinds of sports but the country they embrace is britain Okay, they embrace to be Spanish, Italian, like for example, the sprinter, the guy that runs um, the fastest sprinter in Italy here um, is a so-called Brazilian, okay? His parents are so-called Brazilians. And you have in the Italian football club, in the Italian team, football team, you know, you have um, different Jakes playing in the football team, you know, but they, they, take, this, um, they take the citizenship of Italian, okay? So there is nothing really special about this thing there is nothing really that difficult to understand okay now it says born into a wealthy jewish family of alexandria but abandoning or neglected the jewish religion he rose to become procurator of judea and this is just like an example of this brother right here this dude right here you know 
he no longer plays anymore put his name bar mario balotelli okay so you can see him this is mario balotelli he was a great football star okay he was actually a great football star and he played for the italian national team that him wearing the national team now do you want to tell me this dude is um is italian no he was born in italy by african parents you know i believe he comes from ghana his parents are Ghanaians, you know so this is he plays for the italian team he calls himself italian okay abandoning his his roots and everything you know and that's just what you know jake has always done you know when they find themselves in high high positions in different society you know they embrace they embrace the identity of that society they find comfort so you see neglecting the jewish religion he rose to become procurator of judea under claudius white prefect of egypt he employed his legions against Alexandrian Jews, you know. So he started even fighting against the Jews that were living in Alexandria, which is located in Egypt. And we know we have a big community of Hebrew Israelites in Egypt. Okay. Even Yahweh Shai, when after his birth, you know, when Herod wanted to kill him, you know, when he ordered the killing of all the male child children, the, his parents had to take him down to, to Egypt. Because the Egyptians were actually, the real Egyptians were dark-skinned people, you know. And there is actually a huge community of Hebrew Israelites who are living in Egypt. And that has always been right from the time of, um, you know, Joseph. So, I really don't see where this thing is really that really difficult for people to get, you know. In a brutal response to ethnic violence and was instrumental to the Emperor Vespasian to rise to power in 70 AD. He participated in the siege of Jerusalem as Titus second in command. He became the most powerful Jew of his age and is ranked as one of the most prominent Jews in military history. Now you can go on and read about more of him. You know, they tell you his father was Alexander, an Alexandrian Jew. Okay, so we had Jews in different positions, in high positions of different societies, man. This is nothing really special. So when they tell you, when they tell you Cornelius, when they tell you Cornelius, where is it? When they tell you Cornelius was... You know, was called in Caesarea, was called Cornelius, a centurion of the band called the Italian band. And when they tell you, you know, the Ethiopian, you know, these people are actually Hebrew Israelites, okay? They have nothing to do. Why is this thing acting up? Anyway, these were actually Hebrew Israelites, you know? So, you know, this, this, People that are meant to be elders of Israel, these so-called elders and leaders of um, HOI, you know, ISUPK and all these different groups, you know, spilling out madness, spilling out, you know, lies, you know, just to be a stumbling block to many people. And those who are going to fall, it means the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai has ordained them to fall for this, okay? Because those who the Most High Yahweh Hashem Shai has, you know, as ordained right from the beginning to receive this truth there is nothing that is going to shake them okay you can come up with all different madness you can wake up tomorrow and tell us yahweh shai was not a israelite you know you can tell us he was he was he was he was an arabian or whatever you won't tell us you know you can come up with anything but we you know the truth has been given to us and that's all praises to the most high yahweh shemi al shai we're just praying to be part of those who are going to be counted worthy of getting into his new kingdom, you know, this is our prayer. So, hey, I just wanted to bring out this point, the eunuch, you know, that's um, Act 8. Act 8, 26, you know, speaking about the Ethiopian eunuch, you know, you can see he does everything 
uh, Israelites would do. So, you know, the truth is not given to, to the other nations. Other nations are not welcome into the temple, only Israelites, you know. So, for him to go to Jerusalem to worship, it means that he's an Israelite, he was returning, and he was studying the book of Isaiah, but couldn't understand it, you know. So, hey, I just wanted to share this short lesson, and I hope it was edifying. I'd like to give all praises to the Most High, Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Uruka Kodash, my double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone GMS who taught me this truth, which is the 100% truth. Peace and salutations to the hopeful let's spread around four corners of the earth. Until the next one, Shalom.